Omar Khadr's cell has has no no windows, just fluorescent lights. And I had been told he hadn't spoke to anybody for months. And I walked into that cell, and it changed me. I tell. I remember the shock of seeing a young man sitting in a cold cell and to keep it cold because it makes you uncomfortable. And he looked like a, a broken bird. He was sort of huddled like this, just shivering. He just looked like a broken bird. He looked so fragile. And his body was damaged all over. He's blind in one eye. He's gone blind in the other eye. He'll be completely blind in a few years. He, he, was, he has all kinds of um, it, um, wounds, and, and um, shrapnel wounds in particular. What happens with shrapnel, it eventually comes to the surface. So you've always got pus flowing out. Um, he has... He, has, he was shot um, twice, he says, three times in the back. And so he has these big gaping scars and he has no power on his right hand. And I went in there as a lawyer. The cocky uh, lawyer, the courageous lawyer, the, the full of himself lawyer. And when I saw that young man, and I thought of myself, I'm a father. And we could allow that to go on. I was angry.